Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial and today we will start talk about the adaptive family. In this lesson we not will copy this adaptive family, we will start learn what is that and how it's working. In this series of the adaptive family we will start from the basic things, how we can place our adaptive family, how it's working, what we can use for example the some reference points and reference line and how we can create geometry and the last we will try to put our the adaptive family to the some meshes and with some parameters. So let's get start. Before we will start from the zero, first I will show you how the adaptive family working on. So let's say this is our adaptive family. Actually, this is only one adaptive family. I will delete everything here. And I will use, for example, that one to show you how it's working on. As you can see, we have here like eight points so eight adaptive points that's why this geometry calling the adaptive family because we are using the adaptive points adaptive points it's the points where your geometry will be located it's very important so as you can see we have the numbers on each dot so it means we if we will place our geometry somewhere we will start from these numbers from these dots numbers one two three four after that five six seven and eight so if you have 21 dots you will going on till the 21 uh, so what i'm gonna do now uh, now when i will start to place my geometry here what i will do i will start from this dot and i will do clockwise so this is will be basement so one two three four this is will be basement and this will be top five six seven eight so again the clockwise and let's uh, i'll begin to show how it's working i should use some family let's open up here is my family and as i said let's do clockwise one two three four and as you can see our basement it's already ready and now i should put my top side and now you can see already my geometry and when i will finish the last point the Revit automatically will place my model here inside to the geometry. Uh, why the point is really important? Because if you will do everything randomly, your geometry not will create because your geometry will destroy it. And Revit not will understand how you want to uh, put your geometry. As you can see, uh, Revit can't make this family. It's not Revit stupid. Uh, you did your family not working for your random points. So definitely it's not, not will be work. And you have only one choice. You can only cancel or delete. Actually, this is same way. Let's delete that. And what going on we, when you will put one of them? So for example, I'm using now here the network and I can uh, do array. So it means repeat for this network. But before we will do, I will show you one once more about the numbers. As you can see, uh, our point one is on this side, our point two is on that side, for that, 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 that. So as you understand, everything is pretty close and it's working well. As you can see on, on the left side, here is my dot number one. And now you can see now on the my project ways dot number one, dot number two this here dot number two and you can find my dot number two it's here so this is really important uh, before you will start to create some family to understand how many points you will have the first thing and the second thing uh, how you will draw and how you will place your dots okay i think enough about uh, theory and we will start to create some simple family today and the next uh, uh, tutorial we will try and make it more complex and complex so Let's start to create some simple family. So to create your uh, adaptive family, you should go to the file. After that, go to the new, uh, open up the new and find here the family. If you are using the imperial system, you will have the word here, the imperial. For the metric system, metric. So let's find the metric generic model adaptive model adaptive. Let's open up. And here we are. I not will talk now about some nice features and how you can create really awesome family. We will start from the scratch. So no worries, guys, we will create after all really complex family. So the first thing what we're going to do, let's I'll draw for you. Let's we create, we will create some cube. Yeah, this is really simple. Uh, we will create the cube and uh, let's say this cube will be like this. Just simple cube. 
with nothing. And as you understand, this cube will be a 3D cube, like that. Sorry, I'm drawing. So this will be 3D cube. And I just now trying to put you, to make you understand how many dots we need. As you can see, we have here the one dots, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dots. So for the cube, we have the eight dots. And we should start from the one of them. For example, we will start from that one. We will go like this. And after that, we'll start from that one and we will go like that. Uh, I think now you're, you're clear uh, how, how we will do that. But now I will show you on the practice. So let's go back and now we will go to the uh, reference. We will find here the dots and let's put our dots. One, two, three, four. It doesn't matter if you will align it or no, just place your dot and that's it. Now it's just a reference dot. Let's select the, all of them and you will find here adaptive components. So now we will turn up the reference dot to the, uh, to the adaptive component. As you can see now they have the number, you can even change the number, but now I'm okay with this number. I mean one, two, three, four, I'm okay with that. So uh, let's leave it like that and we will go to the back to the reference and we will use now the line. Just make sure your 3D snapping is on. So let's use the 3D snapping and make sure you're, uh, as you can see here, the X on the dot and you are just using this dot from this dot to that dot to number three, number four and number one. So as you can see, I'm using the reference line, the green one. If your uh, line, it's not the green, it's black, like you can see here, it's not reference line, you can turn it to the reference line. You just select your line and here find is reference line. When you will check it, it will turn to the green one. So we should use the reference line. So okay, is that okay, let's go to the, for example, to the front view. I will select everything and I will copy it a bit here. I just copy it uh, a bit above. Let's go to the 3D and as you can see now we will work with dots. Let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this is perfect and it will change anything. So what I am going to do now? I will select all my uh, reference line here and all my line below. Just don't forget about the control because we need to select both of them. So done. Actually, now we can create the form. Just go to uh, the form and use the create the form. Click on that and here is your a simple panel. If you will, for example, move your dot from the some side, as you can see, it's working pretty well. And actually, you already did your first family, adaptive family, and you can load it inside to the project. As you can see, uh, here doesn't matter how you will, uh, for example, how you will place your dots, because the mention only, uh, the numbers, how it's going on, and how you will put it inside to your project. So let's let's have a look one more time. One, two, three, four. One, two. Oh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, everything okay. So let's load it. Load this family inside our project. Let's load it up inside. Uh, oh, I know wanna. I know wanna rewrite it. Uh, I will save it and I will say this is my first family. Let's say first adaptive family. And let's load it up inside to the project. Let's load it up. Here we are, and now our family ready to place uh, to the, our geometry or somewhere else. But I will use this geometry to place it. So as you can see, the Revit automatically will see the these nodes, and I will start left, two, three, four, and now that side, one, two, three, four. As you can see now, it's perfectly, perfectly on the my uh, on the my frame. And now I will delete the previous one. I can select this family and I can repeat it. So I don't need to place it one by one. I just can click here on the repeat and Revit automatically will repeat on this network. As you can see, he did it. So he did it as I want. So as you can see. Uh, yes, we can create, for example, some more interesting shapes. For example, we can do uh, like that one. I will do it one more time. One, two, three, four. 
and for example i will do it here a bit bigger one two three four as you can see it's starting from the small and getting to the big one and when i will repeat it i will get the same result everywhere so uh, as you can see the actually our adaptive family it can be work uh, really perfect on uh, my network uh, guys for today we will finish for the next tutorial, we will talk about more about the adaptive family. For those who want to try create adaptive family on this network, I will leave the file below this video. You can just uh, download this file and use it to create your first adaptive panel. So this is tutorial. It's mostly about the basic things, how you can create your fa first adaptive family. The next tutorial, it will be more about the specific. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time. To support my channel, you can go to Gumroad, check that my store. There you can find bottle of this Dynamo scripts or you can buy two story complete house or even the two story residential classic house. By this way you supporting my channel and you making me happy to creating the new videos for you guys. And that's it from today, thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe my social media, leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time.